bunch of one in the house. Put your hands up, ladies and gentlemen. Me nonchalano, the only place you wanna be. Me nonchalano, where we get together. Me nonchalano, one place we strive to be. Me nonchalano, let's make it last forever. Name is Green. Hit the scene at 15. Went from Aris team smoking green to squeaky clean. Now I'm living the dream. White shirts and no jeans. Jeans. Now let me tell you the story. How my life went from glory to glory. I said no to schools. Yes to fools. You could find me anywhere but in the local shoes. You know me. <laughs> I was Mr. Cool. The number one dude at shooting pool. Sooner or later, I got a job at the notch. Before you know it, I was drinking scotch. Always straight up, never on the rocks. Deep down, I knew this was the wrong decision. Drifting away from my religion. Doing what I want with no permission. I got a job making mad commission. Mission. So, tradition. I was four years away from yeshiva Hanging with G's and smoking reefer You know, I was the reason for that big asifa One day I was home, feeling all alone So I called my boy Joe so we can go and get stoned We first stopped at the Nash to grab a bite Make some plans for later on that night When I saw this dude washing his hands He looked like a cat that could understand When he was done washing his yadayim He said, hey, what's up? My name is Chaim He shook our hands and said, where are you from? said, you know us, we're the local bums. He looked me in the eyes and said, that's really dumb. I said, what? Calling yourself a bum. Then we explained our situation, how we want to start our own congregation. Because all the other shuls in the area, area. make us fools feel inferior. inferior. Because they can't see our interior. Because of all the steers, no more shears. And I haven't been to Minion in a bunch of years. Then he threw out a couple of good ideas. We can start a Minion tomorrow at 8. You get the boys, I'll get the place. We were straight to the chase with God's love and God's grace. This is how it all began. We were the boys, he was the man. All together, we were the Minion. We was getting bigger and bigger. That's right, Schwigger. When issues got legal, we hired Spiegel. That's how we winded up here at this Stiebel. Look around, dog. You see the people. The big shul, the ping pong, the pool. Still no school. Purim, Lagba Omer. Big screen TVs to watch A-Rod's Homer. Straight from the top, let me drop some props. Once I start, I can't stop. She urim and yunim around the clock. Now with Facebook to my celly, every Thursday night we chill at Ellie's. You might think it's absurd, but let me tell you, he's the best cook in the world. Now I'm 21, I'm done with all that fun. I put away my gun, now it's all about Mignon. Mignon Chalano, the only place you wanna be. Mignon Chalano, where we get together. Mignon Chalano, one place we strive to be. Me and Yajalanu, let's make it last forever.
Well, normally when we get a song, like an idea, or people come up to us and they want us to produce something um, and create something for them, we usually get like a, at least like three, four months notice and we have everything done, like, you know, a little early. When we're working on like a very tight, uh, tight schedule, it's just much more pressure, much more stress. Um, I mean, we had like three weeks notice to get the song done, the, the video done, everything. Uh, it's not easy. It's definitely a lot more work, a lot more stress, a lot more headache, um, and a lot less free time. It's hard. Helping out with the vocals, you know, doing the chorus and then things like that, and then also, you know, just helping out, giving the you know peace of mind and you know word of what you know to edit, what to stick in, what to take out. It was a lot of work together, but uh, me and Tilly, we had a lot of fun putting that together. Definitely a very together. very fun process. Fulfilling uh, a big accomplishment when you work this hard, and uh, you know, it, and you you see how people like light up when they watch it and they listen to it. It's uh, there's nothing like it. Right, heard it. I heard I heard MTV called you guys for this. Uh, MTV, the, the MTV did call us. Uh, they wanted to do they wanted to do cribs actually. My car is in my house. Uh, I tell them no. I'm more of the humble kind. <laughs> Ari, on the other hand. Me on the other hand, I'm, I'm all for it. I like to be the next month at the show. Okay, you're on your way, guys. And uh, you think you get this out in time for the Grammys? Um, I, I don't think I'm going to make it to the Grammys. I have a little family thing, so... Uh -huh. I'm going to try, you know. Uh, I'll bring Toby back as reward. What, what project are you working on now? Uh, uh, I can't really talk about it, but we have, uh, we have some, some films coming up. We have a woman writing something. And we're almost finishing our. We're almost finishing something that we started a little while ago. That's on the down low. So. We're working on that already. What, how long? Two years already. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be, be big stuff. Yeah. A lot of money in, involved in these things.